Dr. Chartreuse? Where is he? What was that? It's from the other room. They're gonna need the professor's help. Bartito, get him down here right away. All right. Who are you? I have no time for this now. The Mercury Spirit Vault was unstable. The Dragon Blood needs to be distilled. Mm -hmm. Doctor? What are you doing? Get away from here. It's too late. It's coming right at us. Get over here. The lab's defensive ruins are safer. May have been bad luck that brought you here. But I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> Miss Lilith defeated the Chimera? As I said, she already seems to know how to use a lot of high-level runes. I was just trying my hardest to copy what Dr. Chartreuse was doing. Did you learn it at the Magical Society before coming here? Huh? Uh, well, uh, I guess. Hmm. The Society must have gotten more serious about magic since I last met them. This isn't good. I can't talk to Dr. Chartreuse like this. Professor, that brooch, it's very unique. Hmm, is it now? That was out of the blue. Now don't get too close. It's dangerous. That must be where Grimlet is kept asleep. It's been there all along. This is quite a mess we have here. I'll summon the elves to clean it up. No thanks, Professor. I have delicate equipment that I don't want touched. That body must be troublesome. Won't you let me look into your curse? I don't mind it. It keeps me on track. Reality is alien to the pursuit of truth. Such cruel tricks, even after her death. Can't Luge be content pacing the halls? She can't leave this tower, even if she wanted to. She still lingers in the stone. The Wandering Ghost. Gaff's story must have been about Luge the Witch. Shh! Lilith, right? You're hiding something. I know it. What? Of course not. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. But you're gonna have to come with me. Uh-oh. Please stop following me. I feel like I'm being watched. Well, I feel like you're up to something big. Are you looking for the stone? Stone? You mean the Philosopher's Stone? So you do know about it. Did you know that whoever holds it becomes really powerful? And it's in this tower? Huh? Oh, I've seen this cat before. It's Amaretta's familiar. What's wrong? I don't know who you are, but if you can understand me, let Chartreuse know. Time is crucial before the devil takes her. Amaretta's in danger? Where is she? The classroom, right above us. Huh? You can talk to Grimalkins? That's mid-level sorcery. How do you... Tell Dr. Chartreuse that Emeretta is in danger, okay? In the classroom above us. Now, Kitty, please take me to her. Emeretta, are you hurt? Must have been frightening. I've been too careless. <gasps> Creator! That damned Avocat coming after her again. I'm gonna do something about him. It wasn't Mr. Advocate's fault. He got rid of the devils and helped us. But without her, no one would have come in time. She saved my purity. The new student? Do not trust devils. They are always the root of every evil. Is what he said true? That Amaretta was an angel? So you've heard from that blabbering devil? No. 
Angel is not the correct term. She is a body given to an angel spirit. She is a homunculus that I've created. Powered by the divine, yet bound by physical law. An ultimate form of life. But I do not have any memories prior to 106 days ago, when I was made. I am far from holy wisdom. Creator, I can't believe I am what you say I am. You're just insecure because you're not used to that body yet. Don't worry. Among those on this earth, you are the only being to surpass God's creations. What do you ask of me, Creator? Not a thing. You are perfect just the way you are. Then why place me in a body made from Adam's rib? A body weak to temptation? Tell me to be your wife, and I will. Wish me to be your daughter, I would be. I do not ask anything of you. But now I manifest this physical world. I'm in need of a reason to exist. Because of me, even the devil who packs with the Archmage causes trouble. You're just tired. Go rest in the tank. You need some adjustments. Oh, and one more thing. Uh-oh. The reason they plan to defeat Grimlet was because Amaretta prevents his sleep. At this rate, Miss Opalneria will die with Grimlet the day after tomorrow. Margarita is probably looking for the soul container by now, too. I don't have time right now, Bartito. What did you call me out here for? Lilith, I'm sorry, but can you come back in a bit? I'm sure this will be over soon. Oh dear, you still don't understand. I haven't even used half of my powers yet. What's going on, Bartito? Mr. Advocate, how could you hit a student? It was purely self-defense. He started it. All I've done was reaffirm his secret. His secret? Shut up, devil! All you say are lies! No one believes a wicked devil like you! See? Now I can't back down. A fist fight is useless against brain-dead monkeys. What did you say, devil? Stop! I won't let you get away! I've been prepared for this. Go ahead. Do what you'd like. What's going on? What's this big secret? He's a spy from an enemy nation. What? How can you just say that? How would you know anyway? Your accent... You're careful about it, but sometimes it breaks through. You said you were from a northern town, so I simply looked it up. Spy? What were you looking for? Magic? I'm sure it was the Philosopher's Stone. People are always looking for it. You were ordered to find that stone and bring it back. Am I correct? Enough already. If you're gonna snitch to Gamble, do it already. No, I won't tell anyone. Though it's up to you whether to trust a devil. But you just told her! <laughs> I guess I did. Then how about we make a contract? I'd never trust a devil's contract. But, you see, even devils have laws. Abiding the contract gives us power. But break it, and we're bound as slaves. Hmm. So hell has its laws too. Lilith won't say anything either. I'm sure she couldn't tattle on her crush. <laughs> Is that so? I knew it. The way you looked at me? What are you saying? No way! Then you will rat him out. Young Bartito Ballantyne. I didn't hear anything. See that? I told you. Lilith Blonde, huh? Oh, and why do you have to come too? I'm trying to help you out here. Isn't that why you told me your secret? And I shouldn't have. I'm not on some mission. 
I just want to stop the Archmage. And even if you do help me, your golems and Chimera would make a big mess. Well, it seems we've already been caught. Opalneria is headed this way. If we're gonna get in trouble, we might as well fight it all away. That's just absurd. We can't fight our teacher. We won't even stand a chance. Look, there's two of us. If we catch her by surprise, we might scare her off. Shouldn't we get to this soul container before whoever it is who wants it? He's right. We have to get there before Margarita. But I can't fight a professor. Hey, how is she? Will she be all right? Thanks to the elves, she's just asleep. I'm glad she's still alive. We're such horrible students. Sorry. It was my fault. I'll apologize to her later, but I doubt she'll forgive us. No. We'll apologize together. Look, I've got the container, so let's go. What are you two doing? Where's Ms. Opalneria? Hear him! Oh, bad timing. Don't worry, she's fine. What did you do to her? He's running. We'd better go catch him, don't you think? You won't get away with this. You should both be punished. We will be, so please, calm down already. And beyond that, I, as an individual, can't forgive you for this, Bartito. Ow. I'm sorry. I know I never liked her, but I regret what I did. Let's see how you two like it. Whoa. You'll hit Lilith, too? Well, then. <sighs> sorry, but this is easier than opening a grimoire. Uh, are you okay? You're worried about me? Oh, hear him. He's just knocked out. Leave him. Martito. Um, thanks. Oh, sure. Well, let's think positively. Now that they're out, we've got some time. Tomorrow we'll talk to Professor Gamble. He can take care of this. It'll be fine. For now, you just hide in your room with that soul container, all right? If Miss Obelmeria doesn't wake up, she can't try to destroy the devil. If Grimlet won't awaken, maybe I shouldn't do anything to provoke him. The plan itself was dangerous. Maybe this is the way to go. You're not going to study today? I don't care as long as I can still clean up. I wonder how Bartito's doing. It's already the fifth day. Now that I think about it, even if this works out, will time go back again? Mr. Advocate said that the Philosopher's Stone caused it, but where is it? Bartito, what happened? It's bad. The devils are gathering and Professor Gamble is suffering. Open area is still unconscious, and I can't find Dr. Chartreus. There aren't any teachers who can help us. Gamble's trying to fight them off alone. The devils are probably trying to wake Grimlet. Let's go. I knew it wouldn't be so easy. I don't get it, but now's my chance. Gamble, because of you, I've overslept. Give your body. Maybe I'll forgive you. Soldiers of Hell, leave that temptress. Your leader has awakened. Lilith, listen. There's a critical element that I lack that makes me different. Do you know why a homunculus can't live outside their flask? We don't have love. That's why the alchemist used an angel for your core. Not knowing it made us happier. Without love, I have but one purpose. An angel inside me that can destroy you. Can a holy being like you commit suicide? 
and I would never free you from this life. The life of a homunculus is in a flask, and my cat is about to shatter mine. Damn angel, fluttering like a butterfly, beating hotter than the flames of hell. Strange, I do not want to leave your side, as if I can't feel my body turn to ash. seduced even me how could my power fail so you are with him damn Calveros for waiting for this moment of weakness he plans to take my servants in return it's too bad for I can no longer move oh no the soul container is in my room Damn it, this is bad, and I won't give up without a fight. Advocat, come out. I know you're hiding somewhere watching this. You truly are a rude man. Make a deal with me. I'll give you what you want in return for you know what. Bartito, you can't sell your soul. Ah. <sighs> I do find making your insolent soul my slave for all eternity rather amusing. Bartido Valentine. Very well. Sign this contract with your own blood. No, you can't! There you go, devil. Satisfied? Very. We both agree to this settlement. Now. As you wish, I will save this girl. What? What did you just... Now I'm sure. The bell on the fifth night. I can't just cry. I won't let that happen. Hey, where are you running off to? Did you forget what the professor said? Of course not. I'm looking for the ghost of Luge, the witch. W what? A are you serious? Uh, uh, I don't care what happens. That's Ms. Obelneria. The ghost in front of her is... I better hide and watch. Yes, mistress. Just as you taught me. The plan should be ready by the fourth night. <sighs> Do what I told you, in every way. If you doubt me, knowledge will be lost. My mistress's words are my actions. I shall never take your advice lightly. You're so cute, Opal Neria. By the way, I hear your student is making advances. Never love your student. Need I remind you of your classmate who betrayed me? It serves him right for taking your life. Hmm. Now go. My love. How sad to see you so frightened. Hmm. And she listened so intently. That magic. I had been working on it when I was alive, but I never tried it. Will Opalneria fail? Who knows? She will defeat that devil. But I don't know what happens to the magician. What? Do you object? Of course not. Now, let me love you like I used. Oh dear, Opalneria. Shh, quiet. What are you doing, Lilit? Over here. Hurry before she sees you. It's dangerous to walk around at night. I needed something, but it was a waste of time. I couldn't find... Oh, 
Never mind. She needs the grimoire of the Morning Star, but I still have it from before. If the grimoires stay with me, then they aren't where they used to be. The Ghost Witch is coming this way! Oh no! Okay, let's keep this a secret between you and me.